In this video, we're going to cover some of the basic functions of the Properties tab. In order to get started, you'll see I've already added in a Pro 24R. I added in a couple source devices, uh, which is an Apple TV, a Blu-ray, and a Samsung television. Um, we'll start with the home page, because uh, it's what you're normally going to see when you first click on your device. Um, by default, before we've clicked on anything, if we go over to the Properties tab, you're going to see there's a couple different things you can pick from. Now, if you haven't done a theme and you're building something from scratch, you'll be able to pick a background color. But if there's already an image that's selected, you'll either have to delete the image or you're not going to be able to see that background color. So it won't really matter. But let's say you, you haven't added an image yet. You can go over here and you can select and you can select any of these colors or you can add in the hex value for that background color that you want to use if you want to use a custom color. Um, right here, you can do a page name. A lot of people get confused here, so I really want to point this out. So let's say this is starting at your home page, and you want to change to living room. So we made the change. We click off, and you'll see, wow, it still says home. Uh, a lot of people think that's where you change just the title of the page, but actually, if you look up here, it says current page. Before it said home, now it says living room. So you're actually changing the title of the name right up here in the list or under pages. So you'll see it says living room now instead of, instead of home. If you want to change the name of your home uh, homepage, we just need to click on the actual page, and now you'll see uh, it's going to give you a lot more options. But right under text where you see it says home, this is where you would change it to living room. And it will click off, and now you'll see it change to living room. Now, um, when we're looking at some of our buttons, let's say we're looking at Apple TV right now, you can see some of the different options you can choose under properties for this uh, button. Right now you can choose, will it show its reverse state? Some buttons do have reverse states. In this um, instance, if we click yes, the reverse state's the press state, which is a lighter state. Um, sometimes you'll want to use that. You'll see down in page one, it's going with the reverse state because we want to show that page one selected. So sometimes you'll want to do that if you want to call out a button, like for a page, like as we're showing you below, you want to show that page one or page two or page three selected. It's very nice to have that option to show the reverse. So it's showing that alternate state that's already been pressed. Um, you can change a button in an active or an image to an active if you're not using it. Um, also, you can choose the show it on all screen. So if I chose yes, then that would filter down on page two, page three. I would always see Apple TV. The only time you would do that normally is like with page headers or with a power button. Yeah, you're going to want that to filter into all the different pages because it, it's part of the same page set. Um, if we go back and we click on Apple TV again, you'll see right now I'm not using any text because I'm actually using the icon as my text. But if I wanted to add text in there and go like Apple TV, I can type that. Um, normally it's going to show up in the center. Uh, if I don't want it in the center, the best thing to do is I can go right here, vertical alignment. I'll set it to the bottom. And then I, I certainly don't want a blue because with the background right now, it's hard to read. So I'm going to select white. You'll see it shows up really nice. Uh, you, you can also change the size of the font here if you want to make it a little bigger or if you want to make it a little smaller. Anything you're trying to do to get it to be exactly how you want it to look, you can also see that I can, I can make it bold. So nice, nice little options that you can do there. Uh, one thing that you can also do, um, you can see there's also horizontal alignment. Sometimes if you want it to the left or the center, right, depending on what type of button you're programming. Um, it's nice to be able to move some of that stuff around. Uh, also with the icons that are on there right now, I'm going to delete the Apple TV so you can see a little bit better. Um, but if we go down and we click on this padding, uh, sometimes if your icon's a little bit too big, you can kind of fill around if you're padding, like we can make this 15 and this 15. And this is just up, down, left, right you'll see it makes it a little bit smaller. So you can kind of, if there's an icon that's too big, you can use that alignment. Maybe you want to make more room for text, or you just want to make sure that everything has a continuity and has the same size. Very good for doing that. Uh, for the buttons, you can choose to show border. You can click yes, and you'll see right there, put a little blue box around it. I'll make it yellow so you can see it a lot better. You'll see there's that yellow box that's around there now. Sometimes you want to use borders if you want to be able to call things out. Um, really helpful if you're programming with like a clear box um, where you just kind of drew a button in. It's nice to have the border while you're programming, aligning and sizing. And then afterwards, you can get rid of that highlight um, so that you don't you don't have to see anything. So that's, um, that's a good way to get all your buttons to the same size aligned without, um, if, if you need to see where it is without losing anything. Because sometimes if you, you have create like a transparent button um, you can you can lose it in a hurry sometimes if you don't know where you place it so and also the same thing you can pick your fill color as transparent your press fill color so if you want to make your own um, reverse states you could you could pick like a color um, so let's say here we want to make it green that could that could be your normal state and then when you press it you can have a blue as your reverse state 
Um, if you want to take a look at what that would look as a reverse date, once again, we can just go to reverse and click yes. And, and then you'll see that that's what it would look like. Now, by no means I, would I ever pick those colors. Um, it looks awful, but just as an example to show you how it works. And basically right there, that is button properties. Uh, we're going to cover some more advanced button properties in future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.